the question is whether China has taken the lead again, not only in AI but also in robotics. This video demonstration might convince you that China is currently at the forefront of fully autonomous humanoid robotics. It's surprisingly advanced, surpassing expectations for the current state of robotic technology. Let's check out this demo to understand why it's so impressive. The robot, called the Astrobot S1, represents the next generation of robotics. Everything in this demo is shown at real-time speed with no manipulation, and the robot operates fully autonomously. What you're about to see is quite fascinating. So without further ado, let me present the ASD-S1 from Shenzhen, China. This initial demonstration is one of the most astonishing things I've ever seen. The demo is so impressive that many people find it hard to believe it's real. The robot's movement are extremely fast and smooth and it operates fully autonomously, meaning there's no human controlling it remotely via a VR headset as seen in other robotics demonstration. One of the standout features is the integration of a large language model. As someone who follows AI and robotics developments closely, even I find this first demo hard to believe because of the robot speed. This demo involves a cup stacking game, which many humans struggle to do quickly. Seeing a robot perform this task autonomously and efficiently is quite remarkable. This demonstration is truly impressive, particularly in the technique the robot uses to pull a cloth from a glass, which requires a certain skill. As we delve deeper, things get even more interesting with the integration of a large language model. In one part of the demo, a user asks the AI to describe what it sees. The AI accurately identifies various objects such as an orange ping pong ball, a red toy car, a white Hello Kitty figurine, a pink notebook, two white containers, a red pen, and a laptop. This shows the robot's advanced onboard vision system. However, it's unclear what specific vision system or a large language model or LLM it uses as this information wasn't provided. Given the proliferation of numerous LLMs, the specific model could be one of many available today. The rise of smaller, more efficient LLMs suggests that such systems could see significant improvements in the future. As we've seen with releases like GPT-3, we don't know exactly which large language model or LLM they're using, but it's clear they're also employing some kind of vision system. The vision system appears similar to the YOLO or You Only Look One system, which can identify a wide variety of objects. In the demo, we see the system identifying multiple items accurately. Furthermore, the demo shows the AI responding to a prompt about tidying up, suggesting the use of container for toys and other for writing utensils and stationery. While this solution might seem obvious to humans, it's impressive to see in a robot because it demonstrates a level of reasoning and understanding. This integration of different AI systems, including the LLM and vision system, shows significant progress in developing truly autonomous humanoid robots. They mentioned that the robot's capabilities were achieved through imitation learning, which likely involves numerous human demonstrations to teach the robot how to perform tasks. The speed and smoothness with which the robot operates suggests a substantial amount of training data. The tasks are completed with high level of proficiency, indicating the effectiveness of the learning process. This demo stands out as one of the most impressive this year, showcasing what robots can achieve with a two-pronged approach. Many assume that humanoid robots need five fingers to function effectively, but this demo shows that simpler design can also be highly effective. The tasks performed, such as throwing a paper plane into a bin and cutting vegetables, are done in a controlled environment, but they still demonstrate a significant level of skill and autonomy. One point of interest is whether the robot has moving base or legs. While the demo shows the robot arms and vision system, understanding its mobility would provide more insight into its overall functionality and potential applications. In the future, we'll need to see if this robot can move around independently. The ASTS-1 shouldn't be confused with a reflex robot, which is completely teleoperated by a human. While they look similar, the reflex robot isn't fully autonomous. The ASTS-1, however, is designed to operate autonomously and its speed and fluidity in performing tasks are unprecedented. This demo was surprising due to the robot's fluidity and speed. Unlike many other demos, it showed the robot performing multiple complex and intricate tasks which even some humans might find difficult. 
This highlights the advanced capabilities of the ASD-S1. Looking ahead, two key aspects to watch for are number one, mobility, whether the ASD or S1 can move around independently, which could significantly enhance its functionality. Number two, verbal interaction. Currently, interaction seems to be text-based with commands type in. Integrating a large language model to enable verbal commands and responses could be a significant advancement. This would involve systems like whisper or audio transcription software to facilitate human-robot interaction through speech, making the robot even more user-friendly and versatile. Overall, the ASTS-1 demo showcases impressive advancements in autonomous robotics and future developments could further enhance its capabilities and applications. In addition to improving verbal interactions, seeing the robot move around in different environments would significantly enhance its usability. Robots often struggle with navigating and identifying objects in new settings, so demonstrating the ability to adapt to various environments would be a major advancement. Despite any critics, it's clear that this demonstration is impressive. While some people might be skeptical, thinking the robot is teleoperated, it's stated that this is not the case. This lab seems to be at the forefront of robotics development, especially considering the level of autonomy and skill shown. However, it's worth noting that Boston Dynamics has also showcased impressive feats with their robots, particularly in terms of mobility, dexterity, and the ability to perform complex tasks. It remains to be seen how their robots will compare to this one in terms of overall performance. This demo highlights that China is making significant strides in the field of humanoid robotics. GPT-4 is now a state-of-the-art system, meeting the requirements for being the best AI system available. While some remain skeptical and want to test it themselves, it's important to acknowledge China's significant investment in infrastructure and long-term planning in AI and robotics. This demo showing a fully autonomous robot performing impressive tasks at normal speed without teleoperation highlights the level of advancement and competition in this field. Although there's always chance of deception, the consistent breakthroughs and impressive demos suggest otherwise. This could signal a new era of competition as companies and individuals realize the implications of such advanced robotics. This demo suggests that robots might integrate into society in more ways than previously imagined. If a robot can generalize tasks such as AGI level system and combine current AI system to perform efficiently and fluidly, it could be utilized in a variety of scenarios. The Astrobot S1 is an example of a state-of-the-art system that could increase competition among other companies. The company's website indicates plans for commercialization in 2024, which means we might see this robot completing tasks in a real-world setting later this year. While delays are common in robotics development, the progress shown so far suggests they are ahead of others in the field. Let me know what you think about humanoid robotics. Share your thoughts and I'll respond in the comment section below.